Hello and welcome to Philadelphia Parks and Recreation at Home. I'm Tony Crowsdale. I am the Environmental Education Program Specialist at Cobbs Creek Environmental Center. I hope everybody is at home safe, uh, being socially distant, and we're all doing our part to not spread COVID-19. So today we're going to learn how to use the iNaturalist app. And we are in my backyard and we are going to try to identify this plant here. So I want everybody to open up your iNaturalist app. At the bo bottom, you hit observe. You take a photo, you hit next. You go here to what did you see? It'll bring you some suggestions. I agree with this one, cell nine poppy. And then you share it. Now these identifications are not always 100%. They have to be verified by other uh, expert observers. So you may not actually be identifying what you think you are. And this will never replace field guides, but this is a handy tool in the meantime until you can get to your books. So now we're inside and I'm showing you how to use iNaturalist on your desktop. So you can use iNaturalist as an app on your iPhone or Android. And it's great for going outside and taking pictures of anything, an animal footprint, a piece of uh, a plant, uh, a photo of a bird, a, a frog, a snake, you name it. Um, you could use iNaturalist to help you identify and then record your sightings in the field using your phone. But you can also take photos while you're on your walk and bring them home and put them on your computer. So, going to observations, I'm gonna add out an observation. Choose files. And I'm uploading a picture of some goldenrods. You hit species name, and you can see here, it lists a whole bunch of goldenrods. And the one that it actually is, Canada goldenrod, is only its second suggestion, right? So, a naturalist is not a 100%, but it's a, it's a handy tool. So, other things you can do with a naturalist. You can, um, it records your observations so you can see um, things from past trips. You can see where you've re recorded observations. You can go to identify and people will have posted observations. And if you are an expert, you can actually go and vet other people's identifications, right? Because this is a social thing. There are experts all over the world um, who are looking at these observations to make sure that they're um, acceptable for it to be research grade and research grade means that if you've seen if an observation has two or more people confirming its identity then they consider that research grade and so you can actually go and and look at other people's identifica uh, identification and you can weigh in on whether you think it's correct or not there's also projects which means that um people have information they want the public to collect right so for instance um the City Nature Challenge, the, the last weekend in April, is this opportunity for different cities to compete with each other informally on who has the most observations. And that's one of the projects here, right? So, and you can see other, all these different projects. So what happens is people will pick an area and you can upload all the different kind of observations for that area. And then someone can use that to get an assessment of what kind of wildlife uh, what kind of how healthy the ecosystem is what diversity of life is there or you can just choose certain species just plants or birds or what have you for different areas people have also have um, made guides so you can learn about different places you're going right say you're going to africa and so look at this someone just made a guide to the grasses of table mountain in in the peninsula in uh, South Africa. And, and so there's all different projects in our naturalists. It's not just uh, taking observations and putting them up. There's you, there's um, ways to learn different groups of animals or plants or fungi. There's also um, citizen science projects that are um, conducted on here through the um, community and the projects. And it's also just fun. So I hope you found this useful and I hope you all 
participate in the City Nature Challenge.